Kalkum, Kahalal, Yahab Hashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Mikar Kadesh, Double Honors to the Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, Salutation to the Akim, pushing this word of truth and sincerity. Another quick article, this is from BBC Sport, okay? BBC News, but this is a sports section, and it says, Football, racism and social media, I laughed because I knew abuse was coming. And this is... Let's play this, let's see. I was actually warming up at a game and somebody recorded me. Um, you know, a video I still have to this day. Um, a quite shocking video. Um, and probably the the worst video I've seen of somebody racially abusing somebody else. And it happened to be me that being racially abused. Um, you know, an act of a coward, you know, sitting within a crowd, uh, zooming in on me, racially abusing me and posting to their social media platform. You know, I'll be open and honest in this interview because I think that's the best way to be. That video reduced me to tears on, on numerous occasions because even though I was a fully grown man, it, it, you're still hearing yourself described in that way and still, you know, hearing the effect that it has on on, on your family members, for me, especially my mum, was, was heartbreaking. Now watching football matches and, and seeing, you know, players of colour make mistakes that lead to a goal, whatever, I know what's coming. I know they're going to be racially abused the mental side of things. I can't explain to people how hard it is sometimes to get through these things. And I think I've almost built up a wall now. Oh, you heard that? No, you're not supposed to build up no wall, man. You're supposed to know who, you, who you're dealing with. It's your enemy. Psalms 83 tells you you have enemies, Jake. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Because you are the children of God. You're the Israelites. The chosen, the next up, the next kingdom. You're going to rule the next kingdom in righteousness. In this one, you're down, you're lowly. You're at the bottom. But the, what does it say? The tail shall become the head and the head shall become the tail. We're heading for that now. That's why, hence, you've seen all this calamity in the world. Okay, because the prophets are prophesying against the kingdom. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me. And before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, famine, pestilence. Okay, so it says here, let's be clear. They're not fans, they're racists. You can be a fan of a football club, racially abuse the opposition player and have black players on your own team. They're, they are racists, plain and simple. And that's true. The story of the Chelsea Chelsea player that had a great striker named DDA Drogba. Goal machine. But when the, after the match, the black guy wanted to get on the train, what was the Chelsea poet supporters? Nigga, you're not getting on this train. Showed you video on that. No monkeys, monkey chanting and all that, you know. So this man is your enemy. And he, he, he what he does, he suppresses it just for that day when he's watching football. You know, and then when anything happens, his real colours come out. He shows you his true being, that wicked and evil spirit was deep down in him, rears its ugly head, you know what I mean? With the horns on it, you know what I mean? Protruding. It says here, Marvin Bartley is a 34-year-old defensive midfielder who currently captains Livingston in the Scottish Premiership. His precious... His previous clubs include Bournemouth, Burnley and Leighton Orient. Speaking to BBC Sport, the footballer has clearly a very clear message though. Before all of that, he is a black man. No, you're an Israelite. No such thing as a black man. Get that out of your head. That's where you're going wrong. I was actually racially abused the other day and I laughed because I knew it was coming, Bartley said. I knew it was coming because it's coming for every player at this moment in time. I wasn't surprised at all. Bartley has shared his experience of being racially abused as part of BBC's documentary, Football, Racism, Social Media. The programme takes a look at why the abuse is happening 
uh, the platforms where the abuse takes place and what's being done to prevent it. Nothing. Okay. Because the crackers are naturally, it's your natural enemy. Okay. The abuse, the act of cowards. Okay, that's what he says here. Yeah. Um, partly his previous social media company sitting on the hands and uh, when people say social media companies are trying to sort it out, no, they're not. They don't care. The account, the account that set, that sent it to me wasn't an account. It was just being made. It had over 3,000 followers and active accounts as well. 34 year was recently appointed as a diversity and uh, equally equality lead by the Scottish Football Association. A role that involves him advising and governing the governing body on how best to support players who are racially abused and acting as a go-between for two the two parties. I've been messaged by an awful lot of young players since they've seen my work. They say some of these players I've never spoke to in my life. It does mean there's a stronger network where people ain't afraid to reach out to others. That can only be a good thing. I wish they didn't have to reach out to me. I wish I didn't have to speak to any of them because the incidents we're speaking about aren't like making a mistake in football. It's somebody abusing them for the colour of their skin. It's not just for the colour of the skin, it's who you are, the chosen, you're the Israelites. Okay? It's a spiritual thing. Esau's jealous. The cracker, the Edomite, is jealous of you because of the he sold his blessing. He wants his blessing back, but he sold it. Even though he wasn't uh, chosen by the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father, by the way, hates his guts, hates the Idumians, the Edomites, the children of Esau. Okay? He hates their guts. Uh, Bartley said, helping others deal with discrimination can be rewarding, but traumatic experience, as it means he often has to relieve his own unpleasant, relive his own unpleasant memories. The most harrowing of these was a video sent to him two years ago while he was playing for Hibernian, filmed by an opposition fan. A short clip featured Bartley warming up on the sideline while several swear words as well as racial slurs were aimed in his direction. It's a video I still have to this day, quite shocking video, and probably the worst video I've seen of somebody racially abusing somebody else. It happened to be me. Uh, you could read on, it tells you. There's Townsend, a lot of black players, they will just tell you they've been racially abused. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what Townsend does. I mean, so much. Hi, I'm Andros Townsend, Crystal Palace winger, and this is why I'm fully behind the social media blackout. Racist abuse on social media cannot be allowed to continue. Tammy Abraham, Anthony Martial, Wilfred Zaha, Trent Alexander Arnold, Sadio Mane, and Nabi Keita were targeted. The abuse has been widely condemned, but it's a big problem that keeps rearing its ugly head. I'm proud of the players for, for finally we're finding our voices. We're starting to speak up as a as a as a community, um, as a group of players. But when you start to speak up, when you start to fight back, obviously you face resistance. Hopefully, it, it lets the the major uh, media companies, Twitter, Instagram. Hopefully, it lets them know that we're not going to take this abuse no more. We're going to start fighting back. Do I think it will make a difference? A, a three day blackout? Probably not. But what it does do, it sends a warning to these companies, and it says. Right now, it's a three or four day um, blackout. If you don't start regulating your platform, it's going to be an indefinite blackout. There you have it. Yeah. They're trying to um, use the Edomites' own system against them. You know, here's another one, Ian Wright. Let me show you, Al, what happened to me this morning. This right? morning? This morning. It's a daily thing. This is today. That came today. Now, people say, why don't you report this and why don't you report that? I had to report the last one out simply because it was horrific. This one isn't too dissimilar. And that, this is a daily thing? This is out. Oh, you can I'm wait. Even, I, 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 I wouldn't even no, read let, it out. Let me read it out, Al. Right? I don't know who the, the person is, but it says, yo, you black. You were never this good. Why are you an icon, you black? Figure, I'm a puller. 
like how all black people get. They don't matter. B L D M. Black lives don't matter. Now, the thing with that out is, like I say, it's it's a regular occurrence simply because there is no consequence to some of these people's actions. They, they, they go to court, and like I say, this this guy in Ireland, this judge, let him off because it was a first offence. He comes from a decent family. I was getting teased by people saying, "Ah, oh, sir, you right? You want to try and put a kid away? You know, see what happened? Nothing happened." And again, with this, what am I going to do? Have you reported that? <sighs> no. Why? I'm not reported that out. Um, I, I, I'd like to say, what's the point? I'm going to try and chase this guy down. Then what's going to go through the courts? Yeah, again. Until the powers that be do something to to stop that. This guy, there's no consequence for him. He's going about his business now. We're talking about him. He doesn't even know he's done that. Probably get another one tomorrow or next week simply because I've not responded. But what do you do? What do you do? So the outcome of the court case, what would have been the ideal scenario Ow. for you? Like I say, I don't want, I'm not saying I want... No, I know you don't want him to go to prison some, or, some, or... Some community service, some, some education ed on racism, education. you know what I mean? That's yeah. what you want. And people say, oh, education, people should know better and their parents should know better. They don't. And they don't know better. But that's all you want. So as then, this guy who's done this today, why should he not do that in his mm. mind? Because he's feeling there's no consequences. When you see that, you've seen what that guy said to me. What, what, what do you think of that? You see that? I mean, I, I see, you see social media. It's happening more and more on, mm. on social media. I mean, no way ever would anyone ever come up to you in the street and say that. I mean, that, that language is... I mean, it's disgusting. The thing about it is how it makes you feel... It makes you feel very dehumanised. You feel like nothing. There's nothing you can do. You're helpless. All right, you see? These guys are trimming their thing to seek love from their enemy. You don't realise, man, who this man is. Look, the policeman can kneel on a... They've been killing us, kneeling on our necks for how long, and you're still looking for love. Let's get a script and close out, man, because these chaps ain't going to learn until they're in the, in the box or swinging off of a tree. You don't realise these are your enemies, man. These guys are your enemies, man. But they don't realise it. Let's get it. Ezekiel, 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 Ezekiel. Let's get it. Ezekiel, Isaiah, Ezekiel. 35 and 5. Let's. Right, let's see. Uh, right, let's start from the top. And this is for Ezekiel 35 and 1. And it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me. This is to Ezekiel, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Because Mount Seir represents the same Europeans. I saw that two footballers there, Ian Wright, a black one, and Alan Shearer, a white one. What he realises, that same football he's sitting with is his natural enemy. Even though he's talking about disgusting and all that. In the right environment, if they had five racists surrounding that same black footballer and Alan Shearer was walking with him down the road with Ian Wright and those five racists come up and said Oi, Alan, if you don't come on this side we're going to beat the shit out of you with that nigger what do you think he's going to do? Stand up and say, no, I'm with this guy Ian Wright, he's a footballer no, he's going to step aside because his ass don't want to get beat because he's got no attachment to you being he's from the same nation as those racists, okay? That says here. And Mount Seir, by the way, is the dwelling place of the Edomites. It's in Jordan. You're not allowed to go up there and look in the caves and that, but when you look at the architecture, it's the same architecture you get in England, Rome, uh, America, that same arches and columns, yeah? Same. They're the Edomites. It says here. Uh, and say unto it. Thus saith the Lord. Behold, O Mount Seir. I am against thee. And I will stretch out my hand against thee. And I will make thee most desolate. So this is the reason why desolation is coming for the so-called white man. All the evil is done. Especially. Not, not just to the other nations. But especially to God's chosen. The worst thing he could have done is put his hands on us. Yeah. Because it tells you 
The Lord gave us over into his hand, but it says he helped forward the affliction. He overdone it. Yeah? So that's why the Lord said, I'm going to totally get rid of you. Yeah? Uh, anyway, he said he created him to be destroyed. Can you imagine that? Creating a whole nation just to destroy them? Because he made them for a specific reason. To show us how not to be. Because everything they do is adverse to what the Heavenly Father said not to do. They do it. Don't be a homosexual. They're homosexuals. Don't eat pork. They eat pork. Don't eat anything with the blood in it. Steak tartar. Yeah? Everything they, the Lord said not to do, they do. And it says here. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And this is the point. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Perpetual means uninterrupted, continued. Yeah? Endless. A perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. In the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. That's the point there. Is they have a perpetual hatred. They hate you continually. They don't even know. I've, I've asked crackers when I was on the street. I said to them, "Do you know even? Do you know why you hate black people?" And they look at me like I got seven heads, because they're thinking, "Wait a minute, no, I don't even know why I hate black people, because it's spiritual." Okay, it goes back to your father, John eight forty four. He has your father, the devil. It goes back to Cain, yeah. Cain was the first murderer. He, he killed his brother Abel. That same spirit was in Cain is in Esau. Regenerated through Esau into his people. You've got the righteous and you've got the wicked. We are the righteous because look at us. We're loving. We even love. Remember there, there, there's enough court cases. What about that one where the policewoman went up and shot the, the, the black guy in his own flat? What did his brother do? Ask the judge if he can go and hug her. Wow, bruv, that is coonery. Yeah? That is the, the that is the, 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 the pinnacle of coonery. The woman killed your brother in cold blood and you were the hugger. And the, and the and actual, um, the court attendants was combing her hair. The judge gave her a Bible and started to console her. This is, this is our people, you know? We be, we're nice to the wrong people. You know why? Because we're under curses. Our eyes evil towards our own people. But when it comes to the Edomites, our number one enemy, we've got such a love for them. Massa, our house is burning down. We's are sick, Master. We's are not well. You know, we've got stock. I think they refer to it as Stockholm Syndrome. You begin to love your enemy. Okay? And it says here, let's read it again. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. This is what the Lord is saying to the Caucasians, the Edomites. They call themselves Caucasians today or white people. No, they're the Edomites of the Bible. Okay? They're trying to distance themselves as far away as being called an Edomite as possible. Because Esau have a great future judgment coming. The only people that the Lord said he's going to have no mercy on. Okay? Because look, he's had mercy on us. But look what he's put us through. Slavery, bruv. That was... Boy, that was horrible, bruv. Slavery. The, what the white man... They, half of the things they were doing to us, they don't even show, man. You know what I mean? The hanging and all that is just the mild things they were doing to us. So the Lord had mercy on us. Just imagine, that's mercy. Allowing us to go through all that. You know what I mean? So I, I, boy, I would hate to be an Edomite, bruv, because if they, if, if they done it to us, and wait, he loves us, he hates Esau, bruv, so, boy, I can't, I can't imagine what he's going to do to them, but it says at the end of it, they are going to be no more. Obadiah says, and the house of Esau shall be stubble, and there shall be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. They're finished, bruv. It's all over for them, bruv. So that's why I tell him, max out your credit cards. Do as much as you can. Because they can't do now because the Lord is, is, is pressing them now. He's bringing the, the plagues upon them. So 
this generation don't get to to have the cocaine and the champagne and the fast life and the and the, and the, and the, and the traveling here and there and the gap year and all that finished anyway let's go back to this is because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end our sin has an end therefore as i live thus saith the lord i will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee and i will make mount seir the edomites most desolate and cut off from it from him that passeth out and from him and him that runneth returneth and i will and i will fill his mountains with his slain men and in thy hills and in thy valleys and in thy rivers shalt thou fall that are slain with the sword and i will make thee a perpetual desolation and thy city shall not return and ye shall know that i am the lord because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and i will possess it whereas the lord was there yeah so the lord is not playing with these edomites all over for them that's why he said get in what you can get now this is a numbers 35 33 and ye shall not pollute the land where ye are for blood it defileth the land and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it wow it's all over for them guys we're going into hardcore slavery okay so you don't have to worry the lord's got us he said ye that he that touch you touch the apple of his eye so the, let them get all the racism in now because we are going to show them what racism is really about when the lord comes back you got to know what real race this is a mild what they're doing to us is mild when the lord comes and we get them in captivity we going to show them what racism is all about real racism okay so i'm going to leave it at that i'm going to say all praises to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim Kadash. double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone these things and to the akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity I'm going to say Kwam Yasharala and Wa Ababa destruction. Esau and his kingdom and the heathens. Shalom.